How to Classify Mineral Resources Classifying mineral resources is an essential aspect of understanding the Earth's composition, supporting industries, and ensuring sustainable resource management. Minerals are naturally occurring substances with a definite chemical composition and distinctive physical properties. The classification of mineral resources is based on various factors, including their geological occurrence, economic viability, and potential uses. Here's a more detailed exploration of how mineral resources are classified. Geological Classification Igneous deposits, minerals form from the cooling and solidification of molten magma. Common examples include granite, which contains minerals like quartz and feldspar. Sedimentary deposits, minerals accumulate through the processes of weathering, erosion, transportation, and deposition. Evaporite deposits, such as halite, salt, and gypsum, are examples. Metamorphic deposits, Minerals undergo changes in composition and structure due to heat and pressure. Examples include marble, from limestone, and schist, containing mica and quartz. Chemical Composition Native elements, minerals that exist in nature in their pure elemental form, such as gold, silver, and copper. Sulfides and sulfa salts, minerals containing sulfur as a major component, like pyrite, iron sulfide, and galena, lead sulfide. Oxides and hydroxides, minerals composed of oxygen and other elements, such as hematite, iron oxide, and bauxite, aluminum hydroxide. Silicates, the most abundant mineral group, characterized by silicon and oxygen, includes minerals like quartz, feldspar, and mica. Economic Viability or deposits, minerals or rocks from which valuable metals or minerals can be extracted profitably. Examples include iron ore, hematite and magnetite, and copper ore, chalcopyrite. Non-ore deposits, minerals that are not economically feasible to extract under current market conditions but may become valuable in the future due to technological advancements or changes in demand. Strategic Importance Strategic minerals, minerals that are crucial for industrial, technological, or military applications. This includes rare earth elements, which are essential for electronics and renewable energy technologies. Base metals, common metals like copper, zinc, and lead, which are vital for construction, infrastructure, and manufacturing. Physical properties. Hardness. Minerals can be classified based on their resistance to scratching. The Mohs scale, ranging from talc, softest, to diamond, hardest, is commonly used. Cleavage and fracture, the way minerals break along planes or surfaces, such as cleavage in mica and fracture in quartz. Color, streak, and luster, additional physical properties used for identification and classification. Uses and Applications Industrial Minerals, minerals used in manufacturing processes, construction, and various industries. Examples include limestone, for cement, and gypsum, for plaster. Gemstones, minerals prized for their beauty and rarity, such as diamonds, rubies, and sapphires. Global Distribution Regional deposits, mineral resources are often classified based on their geographic location and concentration. Different regions may have unique mineral assemblages and concentrations. Understanding these classifications is crucial for effective resource management, sustainable development, and making informed decisions about mineral exploration and extraction. It involves the collaboration of geologists, mineralogists, economists, and environmental scientists to balance economic benefits with environmental and social considerations. What are metallic and nonmetallic minerals? Minerals can be broadly classified into two main categories, metallic and nonmetallic minerals. This classification is based on the chemical nature of the minerals and the elements they contain. Here's a more detailed exploration of metallic and nonmetallic minerals. 
Metallic Minerals 1. Composition and Characteristics Metals, metallic minerals are composed of one or more metallic elements. These elements typically have high luster, conductivity, and malleability. Examples include iron, copper, gold, silver, aluminum, and zinc. Or forming process, metallic minerals are often associated with igneous and metamorphic rocks. Or bodies, which contain economically valuable concentrations of metals, form through various geological processes like magmatic segregation, hydrothermal activity, and sedimentary processes. 2. Economic Significance Ore deposits, metallic minerals are often found in the form of ore deposits. These deposits are economically valuable due to the high concentration of the metal, making their extraction and processing feasible. Mining and Extraction The extraction of metallic minerals involves mining operations, which can range from surface mining, open pit or strip mining, to underground mining, depending on the depth and accessibility of the ore. 3. Common Metallic Minerals Iron ore includes minerals like hematite and magnetite, which are essential for the production of iron and steel. Copper, mined for its conductivity and versatility, copper is used in electrical wiring, construction, and various industrial applications. Gold and silver, prized for their rarity and aesthetic qualities, these metals have been used throughout history for currency, jewelry, and decorative purposes. Aluminum, extracted from bauxite ore, aluminum is crucial for aerospace, construction, and transportation industries. Nonmetallic Minerals 1. Composition and Characteristics Nonmetals, nonmetallic minerals do not contain metals as a primary component. Instead, they consist of minerals that lack the characteristic properties of metals, such as luster and conductivity. Diverse properties, nonmetallic minerals have diverse physical and chemical properties. They can be transparent, translucent, or opaque, and their uses span various industries. 2. Economic Significance Industrial Applications Nonmetallic minerals are crucial in numerous industrial applications. They are used in construction, agriculture, ceramics, glass manufacturing, and the production of fertilizers and chemicals. Nonmetallic mineral products Common products derived from nonmetallic minerals include limestone, used in construction and cement, gypsum, used in plaster and wallboard, quartz, used in glass and electronics, and kaolin used in ceramics and paper. 3. Common Nonmetallic Minerals Quartz, a mineral composed of silicon and oxygen, used in glassmaking, electronics, and as a gemstone. Feldspar, used in the production of ceramics, glass, and as a filler in various products. Kaolin, a clay mineral used in the production of ceramics, paper, and cosmetics. Sulfur, used in the production of sulfuric acid and various chemical processes. In summary, the classification of minerals into metallic and nonmetallic categories is crucial for understanding their properties, geological occurrences, and industrial applications. Both metallic and nonmetallic minerals play integral roles in various sectors, contributing to economic development and technological advancement. What are strategic and industrial mines? Strategic and industrial minerals are classifications that refer to minerals based on their economic importance and applications in various sectors. These classifications are significant for understanding the global supply chain, economic development, and the strategic interests of nations. Here's a more detailed exploration of strategic and industrial minerals. Strategic Minerals Definition and Significance Strategic minerals, also known as critical minerals or strategic metals, are those that are deemed essential for the economic and national security of a country. Their availability is crucial for the development and maintenance of military capabilities, technological advancement, 
and overall industrial competitiveness. Key Characteristics Scarcity Strategic minerals are often characterized by their limited availability, either due to geopolitical factors, restricted global sources, or complex extraction processes. High demand in critical industries, these minerals are indispensable in the manufacturing of advanced technologies, defense systems, and renewable energy applications. Examples of strategic minerals Rare earth elements, REEs crucial for electronics, REEs are used in the production of smartphones, electric vehicles, wind turbines, and military technologies. Lithium, essential for batteries in electric vehicles and renewable energy storage systems. Cobalt, critical in the production of rechargeable batteries, particularly for electric vehicles and mobile devices. Tungsten, valuable for its hardness and used in cutting tools, electronics, and military applications. Global Implications Supply Chain Vulnerability The concentration of strategic minerals in a few countries or regions can create vulnerabilities in global supply chains, prompting nations to secure access to these resources for their economic and strategic interests. Geopolitical Tensions Control over strategic mineral deposits can become a source of geopolitical tensions and conflicts, as seen in disputes over rare earth elements. Industrial Minerals Definition and Significance Industrial minerals refer to non-metallic minerals that are used in various industrial applications, contributing to the production of goods and materials in diverse sectors. Key Characteristics Abundance Industrial minerals are generally more abundant than metallic minerals and are often extracted for their specific physical and chemical properties. Diverse uses, these minerals have a wide range of applications, including construction, manufacturing, agriculture, and the production of chemicals. Examples of industrial minerals Limestone, used in the production of cement, construction materials, and as a flux in metallurgical processes. Gypsum, utilized in construction materials, such as plaster and wallboard. Kaolin, a key ingredient in the production of ceramics, paper, and cosmetics. Silica sand, essential in glassmaking, foundry casting, and as a raw material in the production of silicon and silicon compounds. Economic impact. Infrastructure development. Industrial minerals play a crucial role in infrastructure development, supporting construction and manufacturing activities. Agricultural applications Certain industrial minerals, like phosphate and potash, are essential in fertilizers, contributing to global agriculture. In summary, while strategic minerals are primarily valued for their geopolitical and national security importance, industrial minerals are fundamental to the functioning of various industries and the overall economic development of nations. Both classifications highlight the interconnectedness of mineral resources with economic growth, technological advancement, and geopolitical considerations. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel, turn on notifications, like my videos and write comments under my videos.